Have you ever wondered how often Firebase phone authentication requires verification? If you're curious about this, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the details of Firebase phone authentication and what you need to know. I totally understand your concern. With the recent changes announced by Digits.com, many users are left wondering how Firebase's phone authentication works. You're definitely not alone in seeking clarity on this topic. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. A user asked whether the 10,000 phone authentications per month mentioned by Firebase refers to each SMS sent or phone call made. They also wondered if token refreshes after 24 hours count as a phone authentication request. To understand this better, let's break down what Firebase means by phone authentication. Each time a user verifies their phone number through SMS or a call, it counts as an authentication request. But what about token refreshes? Let's clarify that. And stick around. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of Firebase's authentication limits and how to manage them effectively. To clarify how Firebase phone authentication works, the user should first understand that each unique phone number verification counts as a single authentication request. This means that sending an SMS or making a phone call to verify a number is considered one request. Next, the user should note that the 10,000 free authentications per month apply to new authentication actions only. This means that if a user has already been authenticated, their subsequent token refreshes do not count against this limit. Additionally, the user should be aware that a token refresh occurs after 24 hours. This process does not require a new SMS or call, so it does not count as a new authentication request. Finally, the user can monitor their usage through the Firebase console. This will help them keep track of how many authentications they have used within the month and ensure they stay within the free tier limits. Fun fact, did you know that the first SMS was sent in 1992? It simply read, Merry Christmas. Now, we rely on SMS for everything from two-factor authentication to keeping in touch with friends. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. According to a user, the 10,000 quota from Firebase is specifically for phone number verifications, not for general authentication requests. They clarify that token refreshes occur hourly and do not require re-verification of the phone number. Re-verification is only necessary if the user is explicitly signed out or in rare cases when the account needs to be re-verified. Here's a pro tip. Keep track of your authentication requests. If you're nearing that 10,000 limit, consider implementing strategies to manage user sessions more efficiently. And there you have it. You now understand how Firebase phone authentication works and how to navigate the 10,000 request limit. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more insights and tips.